Welcome to British Biomedicine Institute. Today we will explore Gosher disease causes, symptoms and diagnosis. Gosher disease is the result of a buildup of certain fatty substances in certain organs, particularly your spleen and liver. This causes these organs to enlarge and can affect their function. The fatty substances also can build up in bone tissue, weakening the bone and increasing the risk of fractures. If the bone marrow is affected, it can interfere with your blood's ability to clot. An enzyme that breaks down these fatty substances doesn't work properly in people with Gosher disease. Treatment often includes enzyme replacement therapy. An inherited disorder, Gosher disease is most common in Jewish people of Eastern and Central European descent, Ashkenazi. Symptoms can appear at any age. Type 1 Gosher disease is the most common form of this condition. Type 1 is also called non-neuronopathic Gosher disease because the brain and spinal cord or the central nervous system are usually not affected. Types 2 and 3 Gosher disease are known as neuronopathic forms of the disorder because they are characterized by problems that affect the central nervous system. In addition to the signs and symptoms described above, these conditions can cause abnormal eye movements, seizures, and brain damage. Gosher disease can result in delays in growth and puberty in children, gynecological and obstetric problems, Parkinson's disease, cancers such as myeloma, leukemia and lymphoma. People diagnosed with Gosher disease typically require periodic tests to track its progression, including dual energy X-ray absorptiometry, DEXA. This test uses low-level X-rays to measure bone density. MRI scan. Using radio waves and a strong magnetic field, an MRI can show whether the spleen or liver is enlarged and if bone marrow has been affected. Gosher disease is passed along in an inheritance pattern called autosomal recessive. Both parents must be carriers of a Gosher changed OR mutated gene for their child to inherit the condition. While there's no cure for Gosher disease, a variety of treatments can help control symptoms, prevent irreversible damage and improve quality of life. Some people have such mild symptoms that they don't need treatment. Enzyme replacement therapy replaces the deficient enzyme with artificial ones. These replacement enzymes are given in an outpatient procedure through a vein or intravenously, typically in high doses at two-week intervals. Occasionally people have an allergic or hypersensitivity reaction to enzyme treatment. Thank you for showing interest in British Biomedicine Institute skilled postgraduate and graduate medical degree programs. For more information, please visit our website, named as British Biomedicine Institute. Hope you have gained a lot of clinical information through this presentation. Please like, share, subscribe British Biomedicine Institute channel. Good luck. Goodbye.